recording. All right, hey guys, what's going on? So this is round two of unboxing Grant Stones and me talking through it. Um, I hope this isn't getting old because I'm actually kind of having fun doing something out of the out of the ordinary as compared to what I normally do. It's ridiculous here. It gets dark at four o'clock, so I literally don't have time to get outside and do unboxing videos during the day. So, <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me. You'll have to bear with the crappy lighting and my office lighting and all that. In this video, I'm actually um, really excited to be unboxing Grant Stone's brand new brass boot. And so I'd like to preface this unboxing video by saying that my friend Dave at The Vintage Future, otherwise known as Boots of Manish Leather on Instagram, he actually received these same boots and he's been posting pictures of them and wearing them and, and doing reviews on them. He did an unboxing video, which is really good. And he's just been showing them off lately, and he's been he's been sending me pictures of them as they're breaking in and stuff, and they're really breaking in really nicely. That Battalassie leather is just so gorgeous, no matter what makeup you get them in. So uh, special gratitude goes to Dave at uh, the Vintage Future for convincing me to jump on these boots because they're just an incredible makeup. The brass boot came in three different colors. It comes in uh, black chrome excel. Crimson Chrome Excel and Saddle Tan Veg Battle Assy. And uh, if you remember from my last unboxing video, what's really cool now is Grant Stone, really as a brand, what I really love about them is their attention to detail. They put so much attention to just small little details that you would have never thought of. Like you as a consumer, you're thinking about the boots, right? But Grant Stone, they already thought about the boots. They're on to the next thing to like try to impress you. And so, like I said, in the, in the last video I pointed this out, they have this little pull ring now. So I, I will admit, sometimes it's hard to get the, the boot box out of the, uh, out of the shipping box, but the pull ring makes it really easy to get in and out. And I, I love that. And the other thing that's really cool is the notch here, this inlay, I don't know what you call it, this notch. It's just a slight little notch inward that allows the top of the box, the cap, to fit flush with the rest of the box. So like if you're the type of guy that likes to store their boots, his boots and shoes in, in, the, in his closet, if you have too many of these boxes, they can, they can kind of like, when you're pulling them down, they can kind of snag on other box tops and open up and it causes a big mess and a big uh, avalanche of shoes and, and nobody likes that. So th this type of box style actually helps to prevent that. And I really think that's just so cool. I don't think I have any boots that ever came in a box like this. So another way to hammer home, like Grant Stone really pays very close attention to detail. All right, so then of course we have the thank you card with the hand signed. We have Cindy again this time around, very cool. And then the world famous, I probably have 20 of these things, but <laughs> some very nice uh, flat wax cotton laces, spares. Very nice, very thick, very chunky flat wax cotton laces, as well as the infamous Grant Stone keychain shoehorn bottle opener as well. So very cool, love that, along with the Grant Stone logo on there. One of the most brilliant things I've ever seen in my life. And then I really, really love these sheets of fabric that comes with the Grant Stone insignia on it, as well as it's, these are just so great. Like, I don't know that I, yeah, like I said, I like to store my Grant Stones. I set them down now in the shelf on top of the mat that they came with. I do like to take my shoes out, whether you're setting them on the table, setting them on a desk, setting them on your bed. Like my bed is the most convenient place for me to like sort of condition my shoes. Well, obviously I'm not going to put my boots and shoes on the bed, you know, with the dirty soles on the bed. So this is sort of like the perfect uh, solution for that. And if it's already underneath your boots, which is how I store my boots, then it's just, it's just so convenient. So there you go. One, two, three ways that, no, four ways that Grant Stone made your life better. You didn't even know they would. So, all right. So I'm very excited because I actually chose the brass boot in Saddle Tan Veg Battle Assy. And I could already smell that Battle Assy vegetable tanned leather. Oh my God. It smells so good. If, you, if you've never handled or smelled Battle Assy leather before, you're in for a treat if you get these. Now, I do love the smell of Chrome XL as well. Um, the reason that I skipped the Crimson and the Black Chrome XL is just because I actually have so much Chrome XL already. I'm really looking to expand my collection and get more vegetable tan boots in my collection, as well as I really like this Mock Toe. 
and I have to say, like, up till now, Red Wing has been sort of like the leader in this mock toe design, but just looking at it, my initial impressions, like, Grant Stone, oh my god. They really nailed this design. It is perfect. The brass boot, I know a lot of guys don't like the don't like the wedge sole. Jake from Almost Vintage Style, who I just talked to, he doesn't like the wedge sole, but I love them. I think they're so comfortable. They're a nice change of pace, and you still have some leather. You still have this this leather here on, on the top of the sole here. And one really cool thing here, too, is there's a leather Grant Stone piece here that, that says Grant Stone on it, made of, made of pure vegetable tan leather. I could tell it's natural. And that's really sharp as well, and that'll wear in very nicely too. It's it's embedded just beneath the outer ripple of the of the wedge sole, so it'll be pro it'll be protected, like it won't wear off. So it's very it's very um, methodically placed, I can tell. And uh, yeah, wow, I'm just I'm really blown away. Like so, I went with my same size, eight and a half. I could tell already that these fit, and these fit phenomenally. The only difference, so what I was reading on the website, it still has the the tapered what I love, what makes Grant Stone probably my favorite fitting boot is it's got that nice tapered heel. It pinches your heel just enough. It, it, it's sort of like a love pinch. I love that. It's so damn comfortable. It really prevents heel slip. It really just makes you feel like hugged well inside the boot, secure. So the only difference between this and the Leo Last, which I believe that their new last, let me look it up. Their new last is called, is called the Floyd Last. So the brass boots are put on the Floyd Last. And the main difference is the elevated walls here right at the front of the vamp. That's the main difference. It's not elevated so much compared to my other Grant Stones, but it's it's noticeable, you know, and that's similar to the, the Red Wing. Now, the Red Wing's uh, mock toes actually, from what I remember, they kind of stop more abruptly, whereas the Grant Stones actually have a nice curvature right here at the tip. I think that's nice. I think that looks really good, really slick. And then, um, yeah, they have the hand-stitched mock toe, very, very sharp, similar to the Indie Boot. And yeah, another reason why I skipped out on the Chrome XL and went for the Saddle Tan Battle Assy for this pair is because I have a lot of Indie Boots and a lot of, of Grant Stone Ottawa Boots in Chrome XL already. So I really wanted to switch it up. I do have two other pairs of Saddle Tan Battle Assy. I have the Diesel Boot in Saddle Tan, Battle Lassie, and I have the Derbies, Plain Toes, in Saddle Tan, Veg, Battle Lassie. And uh, I'm really happy with these. Oh my god, this is this is so beautiful. I haven't even looked at the other boot yet. I don't even need to. Like, I'm just blown away by the details here. Like, okay, so on the on the back heel stay, this is decorative, but it's got a double stitch from the back heel stay um, to the quarter, and then it's got a really nice tapered back stay here, back heel strip here, which is an extra piece of leather very sharp and so the stitching the double stitching starts in the quarter comes up crosses the back heel stay goes over and back over to the other side of the quarter there so very cool double stitching there and then what's really cool here is right here in the quarter attaching the the quarter to the vamp is a triple stitch starting here and it goes across so triple stitched double stitched double stitch up the eyelets um hand sewn mock talking to Jake and talking to Dave at the vintage future both great guys they've really they caused me to really look at stitching now for some reason I never used to look so closely at stitching before but they really got me looking at that and then uh, this so this is a 360 degree Goodyear welt beautiful not no storm welt this time but I would think that uh, storm welt might look a little out of place on these so I'm, I'm happy with that and uh, yeah this wedge sole is just wild it's and it's got really cool ripples and yeah I've never seen a wedge sole quite like that that's really cool it almost looks like ocean waves on the bottom there I don't know if you can see kind of looks like ocean ocean waves and uh, so yeah let me look at the other boot can't wait to see the other one well it's probably gonna be the same thing oh my god and they smell so good <laughs> I love that Grant stone leather piece right in there. I'm to the point now I could I could just hold a boot and I could tell if it's the perfect fit. I don't need to even put it on. I could tell you already this is the perfect fit because these look very similar to my Red Wing mock toes which are basically destroyed by this point. <laughs> I use those things to, uh, to mow the lawn for jobs that I know that I wouldn't want to put my normal boots through. Wow. Wow. Flawless QC as always from Grant Stone. So solid. Like they really, if I had to describe the Grant Stone brand in one word, it would be solid. Like, that's what they are. They're so 
they're so solidly built. There, there's nothing slipshod or lazy about the construction. There's nothing lazy about the design, the styling, the implementation. Like it's all just flawless they really make the best boot and like <laughs> when you consider the price on these which is yeah 340 pff, worth every damn penny these are these are so flawless yeah we got we got unfinished edging here on the edging there which is some which is what i would prefer on a boot like this wow i am just i'm just in awe you have no idea i'm so excited to, to have a pair of their new brass boot i think brass boot i think Here's something Grant Stone doesn't get credit for. I don't think they get credit for their, their naming either. They really name their boots well. The Edward boot, it brings about an idea of the, like this, a dressier, more robust plain toe for some reason. The Edward, it just it just sounds it just sounds true to the style. Same with the diesel. The diesel's like, and they, they, they list this in the description. The diesel is described as something that's, so the word diesel reminds us of something which may not be flashy, but an object which is built for strength and longevity. This is our rendition of the basic plain toe boot pattern made with proven leather uppers, lining, insole, and outsole. Yes. So the diesel boot, again, it reminds us of something not so flashy, but built for strength and longevity. That's true for now the brass boot. I think brass is like a really good term for it. So it's got brass hardware. Yeah, full grain leather cow lining from Milwaukee, brass eyelets and hooks. Yes. Um, Floyd Last, Goodyear Welt Construction, Badalassi Vegetable Tan Leather Upper, Cork filler steel with steel shank, EVA outsole, vegetable tan leather insole, welt, and midsole. Okay, so this, this what I couldn't figure out before. This is this is the insole. This leather piece is the insole. EVA EVA outsole. That's the outsole. The EVA rubber. It's a specialized rubber. My initial impressions. Yes. Am I blown away? Absolutely, 100%. I'm all, I'm always blown away from Grandstone. From day one, I've been blown away by the boot you can get for the price from Grant Stone. I mean, to this point now, it's it, this is basically my conclusion. I'm not super wealthy. I can't afford every new boot that I see. I love Grant Stone. They're affordable for, for my price range. It, they're repeatable. It, like for me personally, I don't have the income to sustain buying Vibergs and Aldens, especially Aldens are now $600 for a base pair. That's getting a little up there for me. Like that's, that's getting into the range where I could probably justify that two, three times a year tops. Grant Stone, it's like, whoa, they're affordable enough. And especially if you, if you subscribe to Stitch Down, you can get 10% off. They're affordable enough to be like a repeat thing. Like I could get a new pair of Grant Stones once every two months. Like, and even that's fast, but I could do that. I could do that and, and maintain like my financial well-being. You know what I mean? Especially one, one pair of Grant Stone every three months. Like simple, simple. They're not that expensive. And you have something that's literally going to last you for life. If you take care of these, even if you don't take care of these, they're going <laughs> to last you for life i would imagine so anyways i'm done rambling on um i really just want to get my initial thoughts out um thanks a lot for watching what do you guys think of this new brass boot what which is your favorite color the crimson the black or the saddle tan i pick saddle tan because again i had too much black chrome xl too much brown chrome xl in my collection already i wanted to branch out i want to start branching out and my recent talk with jake showed me that yeah more battle lassie in my collection is a good thing so <laughs> Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.